committee that was setting standards for database interfaces. Okay? And this small company came to the table. And in 1977, the table was filled with, with the then dominant monopolist IBM and all of the other extremely large companies that made hardware. And from the hardware vendors, you bought your software as well. And they all had their own products that did database management. And, and, and they all had their own interfaces. Okay. And this small company came to the table and said, well, we're, we're, we're going to build a product. And we, we want to have a seat at this table and help you define the standard for that product. Today, everyone knows that small company that was founded in 1977 by the name of its first product, and that was Oracle. So the reason it was unfortunate for me is if I had been there, I would not be here today because I'd be too rich and I wouldn't bother, right? <laughs> but I, I was instead working for the government, and I saw Oracle, a company with 14 employees, send employee number 14 to the table and sit toe-to-toe, -to -toe, side by side with IBM and Univac and Bull and Siemens and to find the interface for, for relational database management products. They had an equal seat at the table. It was an open forum. Now you might say Larry Ellison was just the smartest guy in the world to recognize the benefit of open standards on his then unreleased product. Or just he was really, really, really lucky. But whether it was serendipity or it was foresight, the fact is a major aspect in the success of Oracle was they brought to market a product at the same time that a standard was issued for that product that gave the, the marketplace the comfort that they could try out this new approach to database, that this was a standard conforming product. And in fact, it was sufficiently important at the time that the United States government actually initiated at the National Bureau of Standards a conformance process whereby for federal procurement only, they actually certified that, that Oracle's products and IBM's products and Digital's products and a lot of people who were gone products uh, basically conform to this now, uh, this new standard. Okay. So, first answer to the first question, you know, why is Oracle advocate for open standards? Open standards are in Oracle's DNA. That's where they started. And much later in the game, I came to the party to help oversee how they participated. Open standards are about interoperability. In the IT space, we set